problem one says for a circuit below which is right here v1 of t equals to 10 cosine of 400 t volts right here all right so that's the magnitude and then uh, we know this is 2 pi f which equals to 400 we have to find out the maximum value of the current in capacitor so we have to find out the current across this capacitor right here so and before we can proceed the very first thing we need to do is we have to because if you notice the, we get resistor inductor capacitor this is an RLC circuit correct this is an RLC circuit we have to calculate the impedance first the total resistance of this network now remember the resistance offered by an inductor is represented by XL this is the inductive reactance and the resistance offered by a capacitor is referred to as X of C where C in the subscript is for the capacitor so that's the inductive capacitive reactance so the impedance here which is basically represented by Z is just simply R plus and since capacitor and inductor are in parallel so it's going to be X of L parallel to X of C so let's try to find out XL and XC first XL here can be calculated by this equation which equals to J Omega L we have to find out Omega here and it's pretty simple knowing this part right here this is 2 pi f and we know that omega equals to 2 pi f which equals to 400 here correct so I can go in here and plug in the values j omega is 400 and inductor is 5 millihenry here so if I do the math here I basically get 400 times 5 exponent negative 3 2 here correct J2 uh, remember this inductive reactance is sort of like resistance and to separate it from you know uh, resistance regular resistance we have this J right here now let's try to find out the capacitive reactants which is actually going to be x of c equals to 1 over j omega c and can also be written as negative j over omega c right uh, again i just want to remind you guys that <clears throat> the resistance does not have a negative sign uh, but the impedance can like you see over here there is a negative sign the impedance of a capacitor uh, is equivalent to negative J over Omega C where C is the capacitance and Omega is the frequency times 2 pi right which I wrote over here as well the J over here is equivalent to the square root of negative 1 J here is equivalent to square root of negative 1 which is imaginary and which gives it a separation from real resistance another explanation of negative sign here negative J it's basically representing a negative 90 degree phase shift between capacitor voltage and the current remember in capacitor current is leading the voltage right okay now let's plug in the values here negative J over Omega is 400 and then <clears throat> capacitor here is 220 microfarad and if I do the math here I will get negative J 11.36 now that I have figured out these two values right here 
I'm going to plug in these values in this equation to calculate the impedance. Uh, so impedance equals to resistance is 10 ohms plus we have XL which is J2 and since it's, it's the two are parallel with each other so the equation becomes J2 times negative J11.36 divided by the sum of 2 correct which will be j2 minus j11.36 let's solve it I'll just leave 10 as it is for now plus j times j will become j square correct uh, then we will have 2 times 11.36 which will equal 22 with a negative sign because we have a negative sign here 22.72 divided by 2 minus 11.36 which equals negative <clears throat> 9.36 three six four and not to forget there's going to be j over here so this j will cancel out with one of this j the negative sign will cancel out as well so basically impedance is going to be equal to 10 plus j and if I do the math 22.7 2 divided by 9.364 I get 2.426 J 2.426 and I'm going to highlight this because this is an important piece of information for us next thing we are going to find out the total current in this network so just simply applying Ohm's law over here uh, so the total current IT basically equals to V over total resistance of the network which is basically Z so V is already given here which is going to be 10 uh, angle 0 degrees correct so let me write it down 10 here the magnitude if you remember it's given over here correct uh, 10 angle 0 degree it's in a polar format well Z is in a rectangular format right so we got 10 plus J 2 0.426 and the first thing I'm going to do here is going to convert this into polar form. So let's do that. Shift polar 10 comma comma 2.426 and then equals to so I get 10.29 angle is how much 13.6336 okay sweet now the total current is going to be we're going to divide the two magnitudes okay 10 divided by 10.29 that is going to give us 10 divided by 10.29 0 0.9718 and the angle we basically subtract so 0 minus 13.636 that will be negative 13 
0.636, right? So this is going to be our total current. And again, I'm going to box this information because this is important to us right here. Okay, and then finally, I am going to find out the current, the current in the capacitor, right? The maximum value of the current in the capacitor. So just simply applying current divider here. And what is the current divider equation here? Uh, current equals to total current times inductive reactance over inductive reactance plus capacitive reactance. That is going to give us the current across the capacitor and that's what we're looking for. So the total current here is right here. So let's write it down. Multiplies by XL, which is basically just simply J2, correct? And then XL plus XC. Now here, if I do the math, I basically keep this polar part as it is. And uh, this will equal 2 minus 11.364. This is negative J uh, 9.6. Nine point three six four, and here we have J two, so J two here, so J and J will cancel. This is J two. Remember, this is J two, and two divided by uh, nine point three six four is going to be simply equals to. Let's see. 2 divided by 9.364. How much is that? That is 0 0.2135. J2, uh, sorry, 2 here divided by 9.364. This becomes 0 0.2135. And remember, J and J has been canceled. And uh, if I multiply this by this, what do I get here? 0.9718 times 0 0.2135. I get 0 0.207. I basically would get um, not positive 0 0.21, but negative 0 0.21 because there is a negative sign here. So it goes up and you have a negative 0 0.21 amps. So this is an M's and angle is negative 13.636 degrees. Okay.